Originally, these magenta garnets were confused as garnets that came out of Tanzania. It was actually crazy because some stones arrived in the market in Arusha. Nobody knew where they came from, and everybody was 100% sure they're from Tanzania. Are they from Umba River? Are they from Tanduru? Where are they from? Are they from the Sonkia area? What is going on with this magenta garnet? Because everybody is told and educated as gemologists that blue garnet doesn't exist exist and all of a sudden you have this garnet with this amazing magenta color and it's got blue flashes coming through the crystal structure but where is it from where is the primary source that was the challenge we eventually track down this material to the primary source actually being in mozambique it wasn't in tanzania it was actually in mozambique right very small you know very very small artisanal mine that produced very small quantities of this material and 99% of it being below the one carat mark. But big stones that are perfectly clean of this material are almost impossible to find. You are looking at a 5.16 carat out of my personal collection, the best, top, top gem. This material has vanadium vanadium and chromium within the crystal structure that gives it its superhero powers but the color is just rare this is a rare variety of garnet i call it the magenta garnet because of its unique saturated color and blue flashes you've got a 5.16 carat which is a freak of nature you've also got over a carat of at over a carat, 1.07 carats to be exact, of D flawless, full brilliant cut diamonds, aeronautically engineered cap florins. It sparkles, it's vibrant, very durable. Garnet is very strong of a gemstone. It's got a great hardness. You can wear it every day. It's got a lot of sparkle, a lot of fire, and this color is just extremely unique.